Welcome back, everyone, to Sierra World 2016. I'm your host, David Temple, with Vincent DeVoe and Javier Vesquez. We're talking Hello. about high-end aesthetics in the lab. Who doesn't like to look pretty, right? Of course, everyone. It's all about looking good, isn't it? And how you project yourself with the security that a good smile can give you. That's big. I learned from Vincent that he's a ceramic, what's the word? Swiss master ceramics. Uh, master ceramics. Master, master ceramics. ceramics. I mean, that's, that just sounds so elegant. You're basically the connoisseur, the magician, the artist, artisan of making that look so beautiful and real. Yes, Javi and I do the same thing. We specialize amongst other people on trying to make things beautiful and very natural. Well, now we've talked several times today. How do you see the evolution of CAD CAM technology and aesthetics these days? Because that's really one of Oh my God, the change has been phenomenal. But I think this revolution is starting in 2012 when we have the 4.0 software that we were able to start doing multi-unit restoration and that blows everybody's mind. Now we were able to do nice smile that we can project it, that we can plan it, we can make virtual this de smile design and then we can have a better perspective because sometimes we receive too little information for dentists so it's hard to dream for that patient and that's what it's about that we can give the patient that smile of the dreams you know it's so funny think about that 2012 that was only four years ago look at the advances in four years oh my god that and what we talked before even that the connection with the other machine i think technology is moving so fast and the beauty about it is that mm, with Sirona, we have a platform that is so consistent. So it's easy to engage. Like uh, when we start with the free software, it's the same interface. So everybody that get on board for the lab side or for the dental side, it, the screens look similar. So you can learn. You go with the evolution of the software, and the learning curve is so easy. So you don't need to have the hassle to try to relearn every time that you have a new software. How do you think is the, the, the software friendly? I think the software certainly is much friendlier than uh, other software that I've worked with and it gives us an opportunity to have transparency in developing a, um, a basic fundamental of blueprint for patients. So the team approach really works well between the surgeons, the restorative dentist, and the laboratory end of it for anterior cases and large cases. So there's room for everybody to communicate. What do you think is the influence of the new materials and the new revolution of this CAD CAM? Either one of you, just jump on that. It's a lot of to talk about materials because the last generation of material we've been focusing on strength, but also it's a lot of biomimetical concept that is important to talk. When we talk about biomimetics is how we can emulate nature. So before we have materials that they were strong enough, but they didn't really look attractive and natural. I think companies working really hard in hard materials, high translucency, multi-layers that resembles more what is the natural. But both, we go one step further, but basically we try to create something that every single dentist can do. So materials by itself is a huge component in the transition in CAD CAM because what we do is really exclusive sometimes that go beyond the limits of many clinicians' time. And so I think it's a really good thing that materials has been more aesthetic and more durable and harder to avoid breakage and failures. Vincent, we were talking earlier about layering of materials. Can you tell me what it was like, let's just go back 10 years versus today, first of all. Secondly, where you see it going tomorrow? Well, I think layering is an intrinsic part of success and in an aesthetic zone. Um, I, we see 10 years ago, a lot of materials have developed uh, much, uh, much further, uh, more attractive. Um, a lot of doctors now have the ability to do things monolithic ways, which means uh, it's monolithic, it's one color and we stain, uh, which gives a, a decent, good quality appearance. Uh, what ceramists like myself and Javier and many others are trying to do is to emulate nature. In order to do that, we have uh, a different approach. So we have to use the canvas of the new technology and the new material to provide us with the fundamentals of the case for the function, more strength, um, better aesthetic. And then we do a cutback on the facial aspect, typically, an aesthetic zone. And we layer a certain amount of different powder of porcelain to create more of a three-dimensional effect, which mimics nature. So that particular uh, aspect 
of dental technology as a ceramist is still very important and I, we think plays a very important role for the ultimate success in the case. Yeah, I think it, this is really important because what happened is with CAT CAM revolution, what we're trying to do is make a product that is consistent, that every clinician can make night restorations, that will can see the same situation, but can be doable. What we do is phenomenal, fantastic, but unfortunately, it's a little time consuming, and in the regular workflow of many practice and many dial is materials play a big role because create more efficiency. When we have a patient in the chair, we don't have that luxury of time that when I'm, we sit in the bench doing the cases. So definitely materials give us a better hand in that moment to create good, good restorations, but simplify the process without making simplistic, because it's a huge difference between be simple and simplistic. Right. So we keep the good taste of the beautiful restoration because the galleries and the anatomy that we have in the catalogs, in the software, they're fascinating. They resemble better anatomy that sometimes I can do with my own hands. So I can just have those libraries put into my restoration, and eventually with some additional minor touch, the enhancement is gonna blow everybody's minds. Let's talk about the uh, what you see are the, you know, alternatives of integration with ch uh, chair side concepts, and, and explain that chair side concept more clearly for me. We have amazing things right now. When the cases, the patient or the doctor is trying to get a different level, and they want, for instance, him to do a case with all these layering and things like that. We have the Sere Connect options, so we can just. A scan in chair side, send this file to the laboratory that you consider that do the high standard aesthetics and just have the restoration restored. Probably not going to be one day dentistry, but we're going to give the patient what they really want. Right. Now, integration covers many aspects, right? Because Sirona phase is trying to cover all aspects in dentistry. For the implant that we're talking all day long about the surgical guidance, to the function that we talk many times today, how we can integrate the movements, right. and how we can benefit with less adjustment into restoration. So I think that's what is making top of the line integration at this point, that we can choose and pick when we're gonna make those cases chair side as a dentist, or when we're going to send to the best ceramics to do the cases in a more natural way, totally. I agree with that comment. And furthermore, I would say that now the dentists have the opportunity to choose to do it themselves, or they can propose it to the next level and have technicians like ourselves and others get involved in the process. The beauty about this technology is it's also allowing us to do and to provide results much quicker. What used to take three months can take literally a week. So it makes a big difference in this world. Patients every time I, every time I turn around, this timeline has been compressed to this, and this timeline has been. Comp I can tell you that I've been doing. I've been with Sirona for 14 years, and my first equipment I get it 14 years ago, and people say that I was a dreamer, but I was a believer. That was the truth because I knew that we have the potential to evolve to get to the point that we can play with the software in the way that we play right now. That's why you see this distance too short because we take like 10 years to get motivated to take five years to be extremely successful. And that's why we're topping the market right now. Would you agree with that? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that is the That's future. life. Yeah. And it's just going to get faster and faster. And it's going to be better. It's many, many <laughs> possibilities. And here we're just moving forward, yeah. not backwards, with solid steps that is going to guarantee better success, for sure. It's kind of neat being uh, magicians of sorts, isn't it? I mean, you really do create. You an, plan an, it, the, you dream it, and you do it exactly. in an easy way, and it's phenomenal, the result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at this technology as a tremendous support that proposes to a much faster timeline without losing the quality content. And I think this is where a lot of people have not catch up to this at this moment. Yeah. Uh, we have to embrace it. We have to work with it. Uh, we have to understand it. We have to go back to school sometimes to relearn different ways, different fashion. The world doesn't build cars based on metal and hammers anymore. So we need to accept that, but I still believe that the aesthetic and the function needs to be also a very carefully designed and engineered part of the restorations. Yeah. 
Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And uh, get out there and enjoy the rest of the show and tomorrow. One other day to go. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I can't wait. Appreciate Another it. day. You, More David. energy going on. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take thank a short Thank you so much. Yes. Short break and back with more Serial World 2016 right after this.